Economic liberals call for reform. Benefits are to be reduced for the long-term unemployed. A look at the figures shows, however, that there can be no talk of lush. Under the catchphrase depressive unemployment benefit, an economically liberal alliance made up of the ÖVP, NEOS, the Federation of the Industrialists and Agenda Austria wants to reduce benefits for those registered as unemployed for a long time. They argue that the benefits for Austria's long-term unemployed are too high in an international comparison. An OECD graphic on unemployment benefits that is currently floating around in several Austrian daily newspapers is used as evidence. It confirms that Austria has extremely low unemployment benefits at the beginning by international standards. But in the case of several years of unemployment, Austria would lower its benefits comparatively less than other countries. Austria should also introduce the system so that the inactive unemployed finally get the necessary work incentives as is customary internationally. But the presentation is misleading. The generosity of Austria vanishes as soon as you take a closer look at the numbers. The neighboring country Germany shows that. There, after a while, the unemployed apparently have to make do with only a fifth of their last net salary. That would never work out in the back and front of life. You could still eat with it, but a rented apartment would no longer be affordable. The German low wage sector is a negative example and Hartz IV is the opposite of sugar candy. But Germany does not let its unemployed perish completely. It is true, the pure unemployment benefit is only 22% of the final salary after five years of unemployment. But if you include the costs of accommodation and heating, a normal part of Hartz IV, the net income replacement after five years is 47%, more than twice as high. That brings us to the basic problem. The international comparison made does not contain any other safety nets such as social assistance, minimum income or housing allowances. In Austria, most of the long-term unemployed stayed with the emergency assistance in the unemployment insurance system itself. In many countries, they are instead covered by social assistance. To only present unemployment benefits and emergency assistance leads too far to positive assessments of Austria's generosity. In fact, the country gives almost nothing to its unemployed by cutting back to 55-60% to of the last net income. And in truth, of course, other countries also support their unemployment through their social system with the necessary subsistence level. The second curiosity of these regular international comparisons since when has a wealthy expanded welfare state like Austria compared to Poland, the Czech Republic or Croatia which have not even reached our level of social security or economic performance? The same applies to Southern Europe. Northern and Western Europe is the relevant comparison group because the gross domestic product per capita is similar and there is a well-developed welfare system. A better comparison of an unemployed person therefore contains other social benefits and housing subsidies as well as a relevant group of similar countries which the OECD also provides. Overall, unemployed people in Austria receive very little with 55 to 60% of their last income, especially if unemployment is short-lived. Only Ireland pays less in Northern and Western Europe, but they increased their unemployment benefit in the pandemic outside of the tour. Almost everyone pays a lot more to shorter unemployed people. Belgium, which is often seen as a model for declining unemployment benefits, even around 90%. Here, Austria remains absurdly stingy for a well-developed welfare state. What is different is that some countries also overtake Austria in terms of the long-term unemployment. The Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden, Finland and Luxembourg allow long-term unemployed a sometimes much higher share of their final salary than Austria. Sweden pays as much as Austria. Switzerland, Belgium and Ireland slightly less. Only Germany and France really pay less. But the top position in generosity among the long-term unemployed has completely disappeared and given way to an average position in the middle. The amounts paid also show that unemployment benefits are not particularly high in Austria. Half of the people in the emergency assistance receive less than 871 euros and 44 cents net per month, 12 times a year, not 14 times. Winston Churchill is said to be the originator of the saying, I don't trust any statistics that I haven't forged myself. Statistics is not that bad. It is usually much more banal. You have to pay close attention to the details 
to really show what it is about. This is all the more true in the debate about falling unemployment benefits. It is important to put the right facts on the table before politicians consider reforming unemployment benefits. And if you now want to know more about European politics, YouTube has chosen another of my videos right here for you in the end screen, right next to your chance to subscribe to my channel, which I of course hope you already did. I'll see you in my next video. Click and enjoy. Viel Spaß!